Bleach is finally out on Netflix and before we share a review, here's a little bit of introduction for those of you that's new to Bleach. Yeah? Bleach is basically a live action movie that's based on the manga and anime series and the entire series is all about this hot-headed teenager called Ichigo Kurosaki and how he becomes a soul reaper or Shinigami and how his entire world changed by the transformation. So how does the movie adaptation lives up to the original manga and anime? Well, here's the good news. It's definitely a lot better than disappointing full metal comics a few months back. And here's five reasons why this movie is a must watch. Number one, casting. The studio did a great job in casting Sota Fukushi and also Ryo Yoshizawa as both uh, Ichigo Kurosaki and also Uryu Ishida. These both lead and supporting characters actually have great on-screen chemistry and they really play their role really, really well. Uh, we also like how they've casted the beautiful Erina Mano as Orihime and also Yu Koenagi as Sado. Those two guys had very little screen time but they were really, you know, uh, in character all the time as well. So that was great. Uh, for us, we just kind of wish that they've casted someone else as Byakuya Kuchiki instead of Miyabi. We just find that Miyabi's overall look and demeanor and you know his character in this entire movie is just a little bit different from what we have come to expect of the character that you love to hate, you know, the strong character Byakuya Kuchiki. But anyways, that's the guy we have right now. Now here's a little bit of interesting tidbit. Both the lead character and the supporting character in this movie, so Sota Fukushi and also Ryo Yoshizawa, they were also the same lead and supporting character in the Tokusatsu movie uh, series called Kamen Rider Force. So that's an interesting tidbit. Secondly was of course the pacing of the movie. While this is a origin movie, we were kind of surprised at how quickly the movie progressed. There were no long cutscenes or segments to introduce characters and the plot moved relatively quickly to reveal to the audience you know, who these guys are and what is the objective of Kurosaki Ichigo in this movie. Thirdly is humor. Uh, I'm glad they retain all the humor elements from the manga anime in this movie. So you have to watch the movie to understand what we're talking about, especially all the infamous Rukia caricatures. Yeah. And fourth reason why we love this movie is the CG. Some reason this the monsters or the hollow as they are called in the Bleach universe, they are rendered so beautifully and they just look so much more believable compared to the other Japanese animes or uh, you know original video animation that we've seen before, such as Full Metal Alchemist. So. Why don't you guys watch both full metal comics and Bleach and let us know what you think of this, yeah? And of course, finally, and the main reason why everybody should be watching Bleach, the movie adaptation is the sword fighting action in Bleach is really, really awesome. Uh, it kind of gives us a bit of a tingling sense that, hey, this is a lot like Samurai X. There's a lot of great, long battle drawn out scenes using Samurai swords and also the um, Shinigami, yeah? So what are the things that we don't like about the movie? Well, it's nothing big, no deal breakers, but these three points, uh, we just want to watch them out. Number one is the casting of Rokia. Uh, we have kind of mix about Hana Sugisaki, who has been played, uh, is playing the role of Rokia in this movie. Her portrayal of Rokia is a mixed bag to us. You know, she doesn't have really much facial range expressions and you know, she feels kind of wooden in this movie. That's, that's how we think. Uh, secondly is, one of the more colorful and interesting characters, which is Kisuke Urahara, he was very, he was given very little screen time, and he, you know there was little explanation of what he does and how important he is actually into the entire universe. So I guess you know because this movie progressed so quickly, they just didn't have much time to really give him a little bit more backstory or you know to showcase who he is and why he is in this universe. So we are hoping that he probably get a lot more screen time in Bleach too. Yeah. Uh, lastly, and of course, this is being a Bleach origin movie, they can't possibly fit in everything into one movie because the Bleach universe is so big, so large. Uh, for long time fans, they'll probably be disappointed that there are zero Bankai action scenes. So here's hoping that there will be some in Bleach too because who doesn't want to watch all the special Bankai moves from all the Shinigami in their universe. So. What's our verdict? Um, Bleach is a great movie for the entire family. There aren't anything that's too violent or any nudity or any foul words. So I think the entire family can enjoy Bleach. We really like Sota Fukushi and also um, Ryo Yoshizawa as both the lead and supporting character. I think those two guys really had great on-screen chemistry and really bring the character to life for Bleach. And I think that's the most important thing 
other than the CG. And the rest of the character as well, you know, such as um, Irina Mano, she's gorgeous in this movie as well. And also Yo Koenagi, even though he had little screen time, but he was great in the final act. Uh, we also love how all the sword action fighting scenes and the beautifully CGI rendered hollows, those guys just looks awesome. So I think for old fans and new fans who are new to the Bleach universe, do go and catch Bleach the movie. For our rating, we are giving it a 9 out of 10. So for those of you who have seen it, let us know if you agree with our review and if you don't, leave us a comment down below. And as usual, thank you guys for watching.